All right, today we're going to be talking about epidemiology. And what is epidemiology? Epidemiology is the study of the distribution of determinants of health related states in, spe- in specified, sorry, locations. It is also the control of health related problems slash issues. What does it take to become an epidemiologist? Here are a few steps. Obtain a bachelor's degree in a related field, gain work experience, complete a master's degree, earn certifications, and work as an epidemiologist. So the objectives are um, basically known as public health surveillance, field investigation, analytic studies, evaluation, and linkages. So that's what basically it's based on. And then we're going to go here. What kind of places do epidemiologists work in? They can work with professionals. Sorry about that. Okay. Little typo here that we're going to fix. Okay. Done. Cool. All right. My bad. And health insurance companies or pharmaceuticals, but they can also work for nonprofit organizations too. They usually work in labs, offices, hospitals, nonprofits, and even colleges and universities. How does an epidemiologist workplace look like? It can be an office, lab, and getting close to patients um, in hospitals for field work, but basically, when they do do this, they make sure that it's a very, very minimal exposure so that way they don't get sick. Um, or contract any type of health-related issue. And we're going to go here. How much does an epidemiologist make? They make about annually 70k, and that was a median pay, according to the Bureau of Statistics in 2019. But the max pay is like around 170 to 195, like, thousand, basically. So it's not a bad pay if you get into the max, but it does take a little bit more education and a lot more work to become an epidemiologist. So they work with other professionals too, such as other epidemiologists, government officials, doctors, public health agencies, and more. So they're going to work with a lot of people like social workers and government officials just because CDC and a bunch of other stuff and nonprofits, and it has a lot to tie into. So these people work with a lot of other groups. And then here are my sources. And thank you for watching. But yeah, the reason why I chose epidemiology is because I feel like if it ties into what we're going through right now, because in a way, if we can't find a disease, then how can we, you know, help manage it in a way? And yeah, this stuff has been crazy, but honestly, I liked it. But yeah, thank you for watching.